Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about 50 view. So 50 view is a problem of CS50, it's the problem set 7 and it's new right now. It has a 50 view before, you already have the solution in our channel, but right now we have a new problem to solve with the same name, all right? So this is 50 view 2022. So basically what we have to do in here, this is a SQL problem, all right? where we're gonna work with uh, a mystery. So we have to solve this mystery using SQL, so manipulating the database. So what is happening in here? The duck from CS50 has been stolen, so we have to know who are the, the thieves and where they escaped it to, all right? The only information we have in here is uh, where the it took place. So it was on July 28 in 2021, and it happened in Humphrey Street. All right, so we're going to start with this information. Then we have here uh, answers.txt, where we're going to put the, the answers for these three questions. We have the log.sql, where we're going to keep a log of any SQL queries you execute as you solve the mystery, all right? So this is where they're gonna keep track of what the steps we did to solve the mystery. And here we have the database. So if we take a look, oh, it didn't open. But if we take a look, here we have all the tables uh, that we're gonna manipulate. At, at all, we have 10 tables, all right? And we're basically gonna work with all the 10 tables in different times, okay? So don't worry, everything will be fine, all right? So first, let's try to think about where we're gonna start, all right? So if you take a look in here at the screen, we have a better structure of how the database is uh, it's done in here. So we have 10 tables where we have crime scene report, airport, ATM transactions, so on and so forth, all right? So thinking about the info we have, we know the day, 28, right? Let's think about it here. So we know the day, 28, we know the month, that is July, we know the year, that is 2021, and we know the street, that it's Humphrey Street. So thinking about it, let's take a look at the database. So the only table that we have almost all the information is the crime scene reports, all right? So we have year, month, day, and street. With this information, we can find the description, and then we can move on to solve the mystery. All right, so let's start working. I already initialized my terminal, so I did cd 50 view that is the name of the directory, and inside of that I did SQLite 3 50 viewdb because 50 viewdb is the name of the database, and I opened the SQL terminal, all right? So what is the first thing we we're gonna do? So they don't, like I said, we have here four a piece of information and we're gonna use to so to get the description in our crime scene report all right so here we're gonna do a select let me use all capital to make everything a uh, standard so select here we're gonna select description from what is the name of our table crime is seen oops report and what is our where? So what are our conditions that we can find specific the information that we want? So we're gonna use a where. And what is our where? So where year is equal to 2021 and month is equal to seven. Because if you take a look at the database, uh, the month is an integer, right? It's not a text. So seven for July. Then we're gonna use and day. We know that the day is 28, and street, that is the name of the last column we have info. It's Humphrey. I'm gonna copy and paste from here so we don't have any issues with spelling. All right, so Humphrey is street. So if I paste in here in the terminal, and then don't forget to close with a semicolon, we're gonna get here. Oh. I put the wrong name, it's crime scene reports. 
so crime scene reports and the where is the same thing if i click enter here we got two descriptions all right so let's take a look what it's more helpful for us so we have the first the theft of the cs50 duck took place at 10 and 15 a.m at the humphrey street bakery interviews were conducted today with three witnesses who were pre present at the time each of their interview transcripts mentioned the bakery so with this new information of the description we have more info so we know the time it took place so 10 and 15 a.m we know that it was in a bakery so we can use the word bakery in the transcripts and we know that we have three witnesses so we can find the transcript for this three witnesses interview all right so right now since we had this done we can copy and paste here in our log, all right? Another thing that I always like to do when I'm working with SQL is that I like to keep log as well with the information that I got from the table. So you can copy the description that you got in here, all right? And we don't lose this info for following problems, all right? So let's do the next part. So here, this is interesting. We know that it mentions the transcript, right? So for the transcripts, if you if we take a look, we have here an interviews table, all right? And in this interviews table, we have the name, year, month, day, and transcript. So in here, we already have some info. So we can use the year again, month, day. And in transcript, we know that like it said in here for each their interview transcripts mention the bakery so we can use the word bakery to search to filter what witnesses are for our case all right so let's do this so we're gonna do a select transcripts from interviews oops interviews so interviews is our table and what is our condition where year it's equals to 2020 and month is equals to seven and day it's equals to 28 and we have one other piece of information that is that the transcripts mention bakery so we can do a uh, transcript like and since this mentions we're gonna use the percent because the percent it means uh, the it can be anything before but bakery will be in there so anything before anything anything after the percent in some point of the sentence there will be a bakery in there so this is what we means all right bakery and we can close i know it's not gonna give us a problem because i put transcripts not transcript so let me fix this issue it's transcript and the where here it's correct so if we see in here now we have three new uh transcript so we have this first the second and the third one all right so we're gonna work from now on with this new with these three uh transcripts all right with these three interviews so right now i'm gonna copy this part to here and also i'm gonna put the transcripts in here and i'll be right back so I made a mistake, uh, it's not three transcripts, but it are four, all right? Uh, if you take a look here, I already separated in four transcripts and we're gonna do each at a time because we're gonna get a lot of suspects and at the end, the common suspect for the four uh, transcripts, transcripts, we're gonna know who is the correct thief, all right? So let's see the first transcript. So. Sometime within 10 minutes of the theft, I saw the thief get into a car in the bakery parking lot and drive away. If you have security footage from the bakery, park, the bakery parking lot, you might want to look for cars that left the parking lot in the same time frame. So this is important. We have here some value, uh, valuable information because we know that the thief took place at 10, 15 a.m., right? And we know that within 10 minutes of this, so between 10 and 15 and 10 and a half, uh, the, a car has left the parking lot of the bakery, all right? So we, we can take a look at the bakery security logs, all right? In the bakery security logs, what, what columns we have the information? We have year, month, day, hour, minute, activity, all right? And with this, we can get the license plate. But if you think about, we cannot do anything with the license plate, it's just a number, right? 
but this is where it gets interesting. The license, the license plate from Bakery Security Logs table has a relationship with the license plate from People table. So with this, we can get the name of the suspects. All right, so we're gonna do a join in here. So how can we translate it into code? All right, so we're gonna do a select. And in this case, we're gonna select the name because this is what we really want, the name of the person from, let me use all capital, from people, all right? And we're gonna do a join with the bakery security logs, all right? So join bakery security logs on and now we have to say the name of the table dot the name of the column that makes this match between the two columns all right so bakery security logs dot license plate it's equals to people dot license plate as well they have the same name for the column and now we can go to the where all right so what what are our where's here? So where we know the year, so year is equal to 2021 and month equals to seven and day equals to 28 and hour equals to 10 and minute. What is going to be our minute? We know that the theft happened within 10 minutes. So it started at 15, 10 and 15, and finishes at 10, 25, or I said 30, but it's 25, right? So greater or equals to 15, and minute less than or equals to 25, all right? And what is our activity? We know that the car was getting out of the parking lot. So if we take a look here at the database, we have two types of activity, the entrance and the exit. In this case is the exit, right? So we're going to use this one in here. So exit. Now, if we put the semicolon, we get the names of some suspects. So this is our first suspect in here. I'm going to, so since this, this code give us something, these instructions, remember to copy and paste in your logs.sql all right and also it's good to put the name of the suspects all right so i'm gonna put here the name of the suspects and i'll be right back to continue for the second interview so these are the suspects that we have so far so we have vanessa bruce barry luca sophia Iman, diana and kelsey all right so let's find out who are the common suspects for the second interview, all right? So for the second transcript, what will we have? I don't know the thief's name, but it was someone I recognized. It. Earlier this morning, before I arrived at Emma's bakery, I was walking by the ATM on Leggett Street and saw the thief there withdrawing some money. So we have here more new uh, golden information in here, because we know that the, the thief was in the work uh, was in the ATM so let's see what happens all right so um, in here in our database if you take a look we have a table that is specific for ATM transactions so in here we have account number year month day ATM location transaction type and amount for these columns we have info for year month day ATM location and transaction type and with this we're gonna get the account number right but how can we get the name using the account number? If you take a look at the bank account, we have here uh, a table that has the match between the person ID and the account number. And with this table, we can get the name for the people doing another join with people uh, ID and person underscore ID, all right? So here we're gonna do two joins to get the information that we want, okay? So how can we do this? We're going to start selecting again the name from people, all right? Because this is what we want at the end of the day. And we're going to do some joins. So the first join we're going to do is between the people table and the bank account, all right? So join bank, I think it's bank accounts, the name, oops, accounts, the name of the table on and what it's our the the columns that matches the person id from bank account and the id from people all right so bank accounts dot 
person underscore ID. It's equals to uh, people dot ID. Okay. And then we have to do another join between the bank accounts and the ATM transaction table. All right. So let's do this join. So join ATM transactions table, right? On ATM transactions dot account number account oops i miswrote here account number and this will be equal number <laughs> and this will be equals to bank accounts dot account number all right so now we did the correct match now we're gonna use the where conditions we have for the bank at the atm transactions table all right so where what are our where so where a year is 